it's cool right now, like fall. So you can kind of probably get away with it. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm. A, it's been cool, and then I'm just like afraid that it's gonna like catapult yeah. into I, um, summer. Yeah. So I started shading greenhouses, and that's what's going on with this. Is it's a liquid shade. Yeah, we do liquid shade. You just you just spray it on. Yeah. It's pretty fabulous stuff. This, the plants <laughs> in there would just like fry over the summer, and uh, this just takes away all that uh, that heat from the, the sun just beating down and stuff. So, all right, we're gonna look, look in one. I'll look at Toronto Vitamin C. They're definitely about to go to sleep. Yeah, um, I took off the high windows and the low windows here of plastic to like kind of get it cooler in here but it's still it's still pretty hot in here yeah. we have this balance in the spring the balance is is that the greenhouses are getting hot but then we're still on occasion having freezing temps at night it's a difficult thing always checking the weather trying to decide and then sometimes unfortunately putting windows back up it's a constant back and forth trying to keep things cool and hot and giving them that natural balance from nature as well uh, the will go to sleep quick. what is albi yeah Con 1410.38. It's kind of gone to sleep too. Oh, yeah, that's a Stefani type. Oh, okay. Yep. And this is what? Because this one's going to sleep too. I don't know Conophytum people at all. This this is um, Fulleri. Mm. Conophytum Fulleri. Yep. Um. I won't even pretend. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Um, I know the cactus a little bit better. So, so this is a St Stefani Helmuti. It's kind of been pushed into that. Um, it has an old name, Al Albicom Albicoma, or something like that. Oh, um, the this one too. They're starting to go to sleep. Yep. That's, and this this is Jacundum. Ectypum. Is, did you already just say that? Yeah, I said Ectypum. Yeah. Um, this is Grottum. The you can see the brev, brev kind of fight on brev. It's hard to tell with this light. Oh really? Yeah, it well, is. Maybe it's maybe it's. Well, I'll try to. You can see how they're. Yeah, see how they get. They look stressed, don't they? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> but that's probably their little leaves. That's that's what they do. Their leaves are going like this. This one is kind of doing it. Yeah, they're going that too. brownish weird color. More like yellow color. Yeah. And so these ones just, are doing it. You can tell the difference between yeah, these they, and these. They just start to look. They look actually like they're rotting. Like they're going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're going to die. They're, they're going to die. And and um, that's just, that's your sign whenever you're growing these to go, oh, I'm not going to water anymore. Stop watering. I have a bug. As that's soon fine. as you see that, you stop watering because they're creating this uh, cover to you know to protect themselves in the summertime mm -hmm. and uh if you start watering them then they pop out of that cover like they're doing here this blandum see see how it's kind of coming mm -hmm. out and uh that's you know and i and i talked to uh stephen hammer about that you know what do you do when it does that and he's like just treat it like you would a lip ops you just kind of let it do its thing and just you know don't water it anymore, but just, you know, leave it like, <laughs> mm -hmm. like it is, you know. Has it been about a year since he was here? Uh, I think it, yeah. Him and Oaks? Yeah, I think it has been close to a year, hasn't yeah. it? The Pelucidum have really gone dormant, dormant here. as well. Yeah. yeah. But see how they're kind of breaking through a little bit too? They're kind of, they? yeah. It's, it's fine. They'll, they'll, they'll make it through the summer just fine. They're, they're, they're pretty tough. <laughs> I don't Pay J looks so strange to me when it goes dormant. Oh I mean, doesn't it look weird? Like, what is mm -hmm. it? Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Let's 
So yep, we the, should walk through here in like October fine. and November and December. Yeah. I'll come with you in the fall when you're pollinating. <clears throat> and it's madness in here when yeah. he's pollinating. So Yeah. The um the bilobums are like the only ones that don't really make that um corky you know like covering covering yeah, yeah. they just kind of shed their leaves like this and then they'll absorb it like lithops do yeah so that's like the main difference and then and then burger i will just continue to just oh, let me back up just be be crunchy like that you know yep and uh some they look pitiful. Like you wouldn't believe that they're happy. Oh well, yeah, they're absolutely happy. Burger eye is so sensitive to water, so you have to be so careful. If you're growing that plant, just don't water it ever. Don't water <laughs> the burgers ever. <laughs> no, when you water, when I water it, I water it very shallowly. I don't, I don't try to tempt fate. I know it's, it's probably um, good to have a really good draining soil for it. For you know, when you're growing them as, as little babies, they can use a little bit more sand in there and um, not, as, not as much of a draining soil. But as they get bigger, they are going to like want something that drains really fast. So that just kind of like, gets their roots. You're going to kill me and I'm going to explode. Yeah, just so their roots are kind of wet for a few hours, <clears throat> you know, and then... So they can pull up enough water to maintain themselves. So you might hear trucks. Like, yeah, what has it been like two, three years since they paved our road? Yeah. And now like, they're doing a side road. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like they're gonna pave that road too. See, and the dentaranthus are also changing their leaves. So I need to pick those. Good night. Yep, they're ready. They're they ready. Hundreds of seeds in each capsule. At least. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they have the really tiny seeds. Dendrantus have the smallest. Yeah, so there's probably a thousand, a thousand plus. A thousand plus in a capsule. I would think so. It's madness, madness. Yeah, and this is Dendrantus vanzelii. And I mean, you look at those two, and you're like, no, that's not the same genus, but it is. It, there's. It looks like a lithops. Yeah, it looks like lithops, but it's. It's not. It's not. This is vanzelii as well. It had a little mealy something going on. Yep. I've sprayed in here. Oh, yeah. So. Aaron says now, what do you say? I'm feeding the bugs. Yes, I'm feeding the bugs. Because they're thirsty. Um, they're, they're hungry and thirsty. It's yeah. about Lithop's um, harvesting seed time, too. Yep. Um, but you can see they're shedding their old leaves here on the side, and they'll absorb those. This, this pseudo truncatella has I'm already sorry. um done the process it's it it acts like a kind of phytum whenever it goes dormant look at see how it's 1690 made a, made a crust yep like a crusty shell so that's that's i don't know if i don't know if there are other lithops that do that i can't think of any but that one that one does it you know almost all the time priscilla delineata kind of will you know but it it eventually like breaks this. through too. Oh yeah, isn't that great? Yep, fifteen ninety six perfect. That's yep. also Gracilla delineata. Yep, yep, it is. Look at me, I know a couple. <laughs> I know a couple. <clears throat> and as far as lithops go, I know them like just a hair better than um, conifer. Yeah. Every time we pull lithops orders for plants, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> you'll hear me in there. Ooh, what are you? This is Jamboree. It kind of took a took a hit from the mealies as well, but um, you fed them and but I fed the bugs and it and it's the white stuff. Oh, I hate that they leave that white stuff behind. Why can't they just go away and not leave that <laughs> that evidence that they were even ever there? You know, yeah. it's just it's really frustrating. It makes the plants look ugly. I hate it. You have to go through and kind of clean them off. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll, when I'm watering, I'll take off the nozzle and just spray it, clean it off really good. Because it, 
bugs me. Yeah, like this um, crushula. crushula. Yeah, isn't yeah, that nice? Crushulas. Rupestrous. Rupestrous. I love it. Isn't it a beauty? It is a beauty. It looks stressed to me. It does look a little stressed. Yep. Pulling these repotting. The ones, the ones in three don't look as stressed. I was going to say, this one doesn't right here doesn't look as stressed as yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this thing is trying to look at something. <clears throat> And this is um, Lithop Stein, Stein Mani. Oh my. Isn't it strange? It is it's, strange. It's because it is, it's a hybrid. And I think it's a hybrid between Pseudotruncatella and some other. Because look at how it holds on to the old leaves like yeah. that. That's Pseudotruncatella style, you know? So I don't know what else it crossed with. Uh, Stephen Hammer, I think, knows. But I don't know. But I can guess. All right. And that's that's that. We'll you can see the the conophytum stuff on the lower part has not not gone dormant. It's um. Those are conos. Well, there's conos over there on the side. Oh. Underneath and oh, uh, over there. So we have like these microclimates in the greenhouse, and it's just kind of kind of cool the way they they'll like be not dormant for a while and then they'll be like all right it takes them a long time to go dormant when they're under there but man it is hot in there no doubt i'm sweating bullets yeah i think it, it's probably time to take down this east side which is pretty simple to do is to take this clip <clears throat> so we um we've talked about this in other videos but we use this solo wrap it's actually for roofs, but Aaron started use. I mean, I guess you could use it for whatever, but yeah, we use it for sides. And so then he puts a track up there, a track, track down, down there, and you just slide it in. Yep, slide it in. Um, P putting up plastic used to take us weeks. It was a weeks process. Yeah. yeah. If if these walls are ready to go, the tracks are all clean and everything. It can take you probably about 10 minutes you know but if, if it's not clean it's like a lot of pulling and it's a lot of it's a lot of it's difficulty but, uh, so but it, beats, it beats like putting <clears throat> on a clip yeah you know? putting a piece of plastic up you know but then even when we had the clips you or still had the wire like this and then your wrists are like killing you by the end of the day you're but but even when you had the clips, you still had to go through and like um, clean the track, clean the track, and make sure all the screws and bolts, yeah. everything were tight. Yeah. And yeah, this is just a very simple process. And it insulates better. Uh huh. It insulates very well. It really does. It's got a much better R value than just regular six mil plastic. I don't. I don't remember what it is, but it does have a much better Maybe value. I'll see if I can look that up. But, I mean, we're not a sponsor, but... And we're not pretending like it's cheap. No. No, but it's a long-term option because yeah. it lasts 10... 15. We'll actually, see. Actually, no, it's supposed to last 20. 20 years. Yeah, it's supposed to last 20 years. So, but, like, it's an investment. But, you know, I think it's worth it. For the, us, it's the, worth the it. The ease of it. Yeah. The ease of, of using it and everything i just think it's worth it makes life very simple here totally so and you could put a, a wall up with just you and another person where yes. we used to do plastic with like it'd be all hands Multiple on people. decks yeah. and we'd have like oh, three or four people you need three people if you're gonna put on a long clip because you need them to stretch that plastic yeah flat so you you can maybe do windows. You can do windows with plastic. I can do by yourself. windows by myself, easy. Because you just clip a side and then pull it to the other side and clip that. Clip the top. And yeah. Bottom. So that's not too bad. All right. Well, we got other stuff to do today, <coughs> but yeah, that, that was fun. our mesm video. Hopefully, it mesms was. Mesms in the spring. Mesms in the spring. They don't look all that great. They aren't that exciting, but hopefully, we got something to tickle their eyes today. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you for watching our video today. Please like and subscribe and please hit that bell for all future notifications on future videos. 
You can find all of our current listing of seeds and plants at www.mesagarden.com. We also have our social media listings in the description below for Facebook and Instagram.